everybody. Today we have Lenovo ThinkPad E14. It's an Intel Core i5 13th gen. Let's take it apart. Let's see what we can fix, replace, or upgrade. Let's start with bottom screws. So find a gap where you can put your plastic tool. Don't use metal one or you will scratch the other parts. Okay, the bottom is off. Here we have the part number. Now we have access to all the internal components. Always start with disconnecting the battery. Pull out the connector. Now we can take out the battery. So if your laptop doesn't hold the charge or the battery is swollen, you can replace it. Here we have the power model number. Now here under that cover we should have the memory. Okay, so we have to leave the cover. Some memory is soldered to the motherboard, but there is one slot that you can take out the memory and you can replace it or upgrade to the bigger one. Here, that's our storage. If your laptop doesn't boot and says no boot device, or you would like to upgrade your storage to the bigger one, that's how you can do it. So that's the NVMe SSD drive. Make sure to buy the same length because that's where you, your screw to fasten the drive is. That's our Wi-Fi card. So let's disconnect antenna wires. If your Wi-Fi doesn't work, you can replace this card. Here we have the model number and part number. Now that's our cooling fan and the heat sink. So if your cooling fan doesn't spin, it's clogged with dust or make grinding noise, you can replace it. Here the wire for the IO board is routed through the fan, so let's disconnect it. I always close those retaining clips, otherwise you are risking breaking them. Now let's unplug the fan. Okay. And that's how you can take it out. Here we have the part number. This one here. Now that's the heatsink. So if the heatsink is clogged or doesn't disperse the heat properly, it's bent, then it won't work, so you can replace it. Unscrew these screws here. And now gently take it out. Don't bend it. It may be stuck because of the cooling paste, so be gentle. Okay, now it's out. Here we have our part number. Now, uh, we are gonna pull out the motherboard and then the I.O. board. Both parts are covered with hinges, so let's unscrew the hinge screws. Now I will take out all the screws. 
screws from the motherboard. And from the I.O. board as well. Uh, let's disconnect whatever remains connected to the motherboard with the keyboard touchpad. I will keep the CMOS battery with the motherboard. Let's disconnect our speakers. That's our video cable for the screen. Okay, it looks like all is disconnected. So now gently unfold, holding the hinges so nothing breaks. Okay, and that's how you can take out the harness. So, okay, speakers are in our way so let's take them out so if your sound is bad you can replace your speakers here we have our part number let's see now we should be able to take out the motherboard Some cables are glued to the motherboard, so gently disconnect everything. One last connector. Okay, and that's our motherboard. Here we have the part number. That's our processor. Unfortunately, it's soldered to the motherboard, so you cannot replace it. If it doesn't work, you have to buy the whole new motherboard. And that's our I.O. board. So that's our USB port and our power button. So if these don't work, you can replace this board. Now let's see if we can take out the touchpad. Looks like we can take out all the screws here. The, looks like the keyboard is riveted to the palm rest so we cannot replace it here we have the part number but if the keyboard doesn't work you have to buy the whole assembly if you are looking for your parts check gatlaptopparts.com And here we have our screen left. It's very fragile, so usually look for the whole assembly. Otherwise, you are risking breaking the LCD. Here we have the part number, model number. That's how it looks like. All right, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.